Wrecking Ball, also known as Hammond, is in an odd situation for Overwatch 2 as it seems like his kit would work perfectly fine as a solo tank, apart from the fact that his raw damage output isn't as high as other tanks. His playstyle revolves around his greatest strength being his extreme amounts of mobility. It allows him to help the team out by rolling through the opposition to disrupt them and knock them out of place while doing slight amounts of damage. He doesn't have any methods of providing direct protection to his teammates either, making his playstyle remain more offensively oriented. A 1v1 situation can work perfectly fine in his favour right now, but the move to 5v5 needs his kit to be adjusted just a little bit in several places in order to actually be able to have more of an impact in a team fight instead of just in a duel. Taking a closer look at his loadout as a whole, his minefield stands out as the only ability that can reliably have an impact against multiple enemies without needing much follow up from the rest of his team. Abilities like his grappling hook and power driver however, mainly serve as tools for mobility and engagement rather than outputting raw damage into the enemy team. However, both of them are also able to quickly finish off enemies in different ways. The grappling hook is able to quickly output 50 damage by rolling into someone, which is enough to take out a hero like Tracer who is trying to get to a health pack, while also being able to knock the enemy team off the map to remove a larger chunk of them within seconds. His pile driver is able to give Wrecking Ball a slight amount of both distance and height while in the air, before slamming down and getting anywhere between 20 to 100 damage inflicted onto the enemies that are hit by it, depending on how far away they are from the pile driver itself. In order to increase his damage output, even slightly, he could have small amounts of burn damage applied to the first couple of enemies he hits while rolling. The reason for this idea comes from the fact that when he hits max speed, a flaming effect appears over him to show that he has gotten to that fireball state. The changes that this power driver received from the creator experimental update back on February 10th would be a solid addition to the rest of his kit as well, as it would help maintain that aggression that he would need in order to get higher amounts of value with his damage. The update made it so that his adaptive shield cooldown would be reduced by one second for each enemy that was hit by a power driver. To end off these changes, I think that Wrecking Ball's primary fire ammo should be increased to 120 as it would allow him to keep fighting for that little bit longer before having to reload. Combine that with an increase to his reload speed when he isn't rolling, and both of those changes should help him become a little bit more present in the front line of his team. Reducing the cooldowns of his abilities across the board should also help him fight more often while raising the amount of damage he can output as well. The reductions would only be slight however, such as grappling hook going from a 5 second cooldown to 4, but they should end up making a large difference in how his kit feels overall. Thanks for watching! If you enjoyed this video, be sure to like and subscribe for more Overwatch 2 content, and let us know in the comments what you think could be done to Wrecking Ball in Overwatch 2.